Continuing with the MySQL from the command line in Linux uh, tutorials. Once again, if you have not watched the previous tutorials, uh, hopefully I'll remember to put annotations up to them. Um, and so far we've, once again, installed MySQL, created a database, created a table, put in the information for five different users. The table's called users. I've shown you how to search through them uh, for a certain name, but let's say we want to do, I'm going to call it a reverse search. And basically, before we look for you know all the users uh, with the last name Akapinti or all users with the last name Jones, now we're going to do a reverse of that where we can put in a last name like Jones and display all users that don't have the last name Jones. Once again, this is going to be a pretty short tutorial, but uh, pretty simple. We're going to say select. That would be good if I clicked into my virtual box here. Okay, select. Once again, the actual MySQL uh, commands don't have to be, but it's proper to make them capital. It just makes everything a lot easier to read. We're going to display all the information from these uh, fields, fields, and we're going to say from our table called users. And in the past, we did where, and we'll say in this case, L name equals Jones. Let's spell everything properly and if we hit you know, put a semicolon at the end if we hit enter now it displays all the information for all users with the last name Jones well now if we want to view all uh, users that don't have the last name Jones we're gonna put an exclamation point or mark right there so instead of saying equals it now means does not equal Jones and if we hit enter now you'll see it displays the information for the other three users. So everyone who doesn't have the last name Jones, let's do the same thing again here. We'll change this to gate. We'll hit enter. And you can see it displays four names. Everybody in the database except for Billy Gate uh, because we said we don't want to see any one with the last name Gate. And once again, we can do the same thing with Akapinti. So me and my wife are now removed from there now. Uh, we can also say, uh, oh, I, I don't want to see anyone, you know, here we're going last name. We can go F name for first name. And we can say, I don't want to see anyone with the first name Bob. So Bob has been removed. We can say, in this case, Billy. And it removes Billy. And once again, this is not removing it. It's not changing the database at all. So far, the only thing we've done as far as changing the input into our tables is when we originally created uh, the users and we inserted them. Everything else we've done so far with with select ha is just what's being displayed. It's the information you're grabbing in this particular instance. So if you're doing a query of some sort and you want to find something, that's what we're doing. It's not manipulating the database at all. We're just viewing. Um, so that's it. Once again, another short one. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it useful. Keep on watching and I hope that you have a great day.